made me some breakfast toast to scrambled eggs. Everybody say grits. <laughs> Unique Jones Gibson. I am. Uh, I'm a creator. I'm a creative. Um, so, founder of Because When We Can, creator of Culture Tags, here to amplify and celebrate um, culture and community. Um, and one thing I love about myself is that I'm still growing. I'm still mm -hmm. growing. I'm still learning, and I'm committed to that process. And I appreciate that about about me. I want to always figure out how I can be better, and um, that's been since as long as I can remember. You share a lot of yourself on social media. I know it's not your full life, mm -hmm. but you do share granny yeah. with us. Yes. And that in itself, um, you know, being a woman in her late 30s, I don't have the family and everything yet, but I often do think about that um, in the sense of opening your home to our elders and, and taking care of them and becoming that. What have you learned about yourself? Because you share that. I, I love what I feel I learned watching it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you learn about yourself? From having my husband's grandmother live here? Yes. I'm a very tolerant individual. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I just learned that... Um, tolerant, I, for sure. I think that uh, I enjoy a multi-generational home. My um, Not only does my husband's grandmother live here, but Granny got sick in March. She um, had uh, pneumonia and... Um, Actually, they were thinking, talking about putting her in hospice. She's great now, but when that happened, we moved, my husband, we moved my husband's aunt in as well. Um, so there are seven people that live in my home, um, including my husband, my three kids, my you are husband, something else. grandmother, and his aunt. But um, a lot of people may or may not know my husband's mother died right after we were married. We actually got married sooner than later because we knew she was terminally ill. So for yeah. us, having her here has been like having a touch of his mom around um somebody that he has a connection to because that's his only family and then obviously having his aunt here now is a little bit you know it's that's a so bit nice. closer so you know i've just learned that um you know family is important to me that um you know it's possible to coexist in the mm -hmm. same roof and there there doesn't have to be a queen you know what i mean like we just we just rock with it roll with it and i'm just I, i'm a very patient person um, but for me, it's all about the love and it's really about my husband, um, getting mm. experiences that I feel like he, he has otherwise missed. Come on, black love. Give it to <laughs> us. Give it to us. We love that. Um, it just speaks to the type of person that you are and how you share yourself and your, um, in your space. That is, it's just so beautiful. Um, because we have to lift up our elders and you do that work as well within your actual work. Mm -hmm. too yeah um so let's talk about that all the avenues that you find yourself in unique talk talk about where you put your talents professionally yeah so professionally for me is really about finding ways to celebrate uh culture and community and so i've been able to do that um prior to uh developing because we can or culture tags or dream village or because we can box my career was in online advertising I started off with Microsoft and was able to really um, understand like how marketing, how online marketing works, um, how to create relatable campaigns, how to just tell stories in a very concise way and have been able to really segue that into what I'm doing now with Because of Them We Can, which is really about just amplifying and celebrating us, right? Right. Like whether um, that's a known individual, whether it's an unknown individual that people should know more about, uh, I spend my days talking to my team about like, who are we celebrating? Who are we sharing? Who are we uplifting? Um, and that feels good to do that every single day because the energy is clean, you know, mm -hmm. We're not gossip or trauma. It's all about the people. It's about what's uplifting and the joy and the excellence that we know is ever present in our community. Um, so that's what I do professionally. And then also with culture tags, you know, just developing another way for us to be able to celebrate who we are and to give ourselves more, um, staples of representation, um, uh, on a grand, um, uh, 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 level. Um, so yeah. I love that. Well, talk about like, take us to that day where you came up with this idea for this day. So, so it was multiple days. What happened? <laughs> it, was, it was multiple days uh, with culture tags 
because I had so like I, I I knew I wanted to create a game, but I didn't really have a solid idea. And I'm very formulaic, so I was studying models and like you know what can I do? I want to do paper products, you know, but I just don't know like what's gonna make the most sense and. Um, I remember I was online and Yabla Blay had a post up that just had this really long acronym. And <laughs> yeah. they were like, you remember that post? And like all these people were commenting and I just worked really hard. I, my prayer to God is to help me to see it before other people see it. Like, I just want to see it. Just let me see it, God. I promise I'll make good on it. And mm. when I saw all the comments, mm. I was like, I was like, this is a game. This is a game. And, um, um, that was like October, but I still didn't really get busy with it until December. Um, after a series of events, going into Dream Village, seeing a long acronym written on the board by one of my members, and then being in this, uh, Chicago in December, and Lovey and I were bored. And I like wrote down an acronym, and I gave her a hint, and we did that for like two hours. And she was like, yo, you got to make this a game. And I was like, oh, I am. She was like, B, nah, you got to go work <laughs> on this now. And I was like, yeah, I am. She was like, you need homie. So after I, like, literally on the plane, I was on my iPad creating a spreadsheet of all the culture tags. And when I tested it at my cousin's house on Christmas on my cell phone, I knew it was a hit. I was like, oh, this, this, uh, I actually tweeted about it that night. I was like, yo, I got a game for the culture. It's going to take everybody by storm. I know some people are going to be mad because they're going to be like, it's so simple. But I was like, it's a hit. So it um, is. It, I, I, I knew it was a win. I'm not, that, like, I'm okay. Like, but I'm not great. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's really, it really depends on, it really depends on who you're playing with. So it's all about like who you're playing with, their hints, because I've seen people give hints that have nothing to do with the culture. It's all about what the culture tag is that they're trying to get the other person to, to figure out. So it's really about your team and um, who you're playing with, but. The strategy of it all. It's like taboo <laughs> for the people. It's taboo for it is. It's taboo for the people. Did you want to play a little bit? Yeah, let's play. You want to play? All right. So this is uh, the name of the game is Culture Tags. You can get it from culturetags.com. So or you can go to Culture Tags. I think we get out of here, go to the Culture Tag Instagram and hit the link. You can buy it from uh, Target. All right, you ready? It's so fun. Okay. okay. So this is Daily Sayings. When somebody, this is how you start your story. You about to tell a good story. Oh, uh, ooh. Mm. You gonna be mad when you get You about to tell a good story or you about to check somebody. You about to clap, hand clap and check somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you out. This gonna help you. This gonna help you. This You gotta do this when you're playing. You gotta go like this. For, 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 Come on. <laughs> this one, you about to check somebody. Is that an O or D? This is an F. Oh, A. F-O-A. Y'all, I'm legit running a fever over here. I'm like, wait, I'm warm. All right, you got me scared. Oh, first of all. First of all. I was like, for real? Like, for the... First. <laughs> first of all. First of all. Yeah, you say first of all to you. You never say second of all, but you There's always never say... never second first or third all right. or any other. Oh, no, let me do another one. Uh, Okay. Oh, oh, this is what your mama would say tell you to do before she gets home from work because she got to cook. Take the chicken out the freezer. Hey, did you ever take the chicken out the freezer on time? Did you, Danielle? I was the joker that forgot and I would run. I would try to throw some hot water on Because you can hear the door. gravel when the tires hit the gravel. Hey, you'd be like... You hear I hear the door shut. I was like... Oh, Ours was always the gravel. You could hear the tire hit it. It'd be, oh man, you ain't even take the chicken out. <laughs> you take the chicken out of the freezer. All oh, right. Mama, it ain't, it, we took it out. It ain't thawed. It ain't. It, I don't know what's going on. You should have baby put it's it still in. Still just the, hard frozen. Not defrosting. <laughs> All right. Um, daily sayings. This, this is what you question. say to someone. All right. So the, I say this to my friends. When I call them on the phone and I'm about to tell them something, this is the first question I ask. Y'all, you. I say this because I want to make sure. No one else can hear what I'm about to say. Oh, you by yourself? Hey, you by yourself? <laughs> I got I, I got something to tell you. you. You by yourself? Yo, these are so unique. They're so good. Hey, you you by yourself? All right. You by um, yourself? Hold on. Let me give you another one. All right. Uh, let me see if I gave you some more. I got so many over here. 
So I love your it. deck. I'm sad that I don't have your special deck. All right. So, um, all right. This is uh oh. This is from the show Martin. Put your <laughs> no. This is from the show Martin. This is okay. what, uh this is TV and film. This is what um Martin said. Why did they say this? Uh -huh. all right. So this is about folks when they froggy. What happens to froggy folks? This, this was said. I, I forget. I forget Martin who Martin jumped. said this to. Jump under. Uh, you what? What would you say the J was? Jump. Yes. Jump. Now what happens when people jump? Who jumps and what happens to them when they jump? Oh. Who I don't know what the P is, but jump up to get beat down. All right, all right. Who is the P? Punk. Punks jump up to get beat down. Yeah. <laughs> Punks jump up. I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember the contact. I don't remember. Uh, jump up said, to get beat down. Somebody said, Lord, I lost. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, they got the punks one. Songs oh, and lyrics. Lord, mate. Songs and lyrics. This is. uh. When you heard when you heard this, what school did you go to? What college did you go to? Co uh, East Carolina University. I went to a white school. Oh, so y'all probably ain't had this. Uh, probably. Right. You went to an HBCU or a, a party with the black. Oh no! Yo, we ducking and ducking and ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> we did yeah. have that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm listening. All right. Songs and lyrics. This is this is a Jill Scott song. Okay. Oh, got it already. Made me some breakfast toast to scrambled eggs. Everybody say grits. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is so fun. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Basically, you need to go get you a Culture Tags game. It's in this cute little yellow box. It's Bright yellow. Nice. So you can see it when you tap on it in the target.com yep. or through the culture tax page. But for real, get you a game. It's so fun. As an entrepreneur, one of the things that I love, like whenever I see you um, on lives and things like that, I'm like, let me tap in because you have so many keys and so many dope um, resources for helping these entrepreneurs get their things together, basically. So can you tell us about um, times when you, as an entrepreneur, have had to figure out a strategy when you didn't know how to do a strategy <laughs> oh that's the whole game that's uh i mean <laughs> i can't even really uh pinpoint a solid i mean there are so many examples of that i feel like everybody is figuring it out as they're going along and the reason why we get discouraged is because we think that everybody else didn't go through what we're going through or we think that there's you know there's no manual Right, mm -hmm. so there's no manual to how to be an entrepreneur. Like, and and the the interesting thing is, a lot of times people aren't just as forthcoming with the information to help you learn before you fail. Right, so for me, I have definitely, um, <laughs> I've definitely had experiences where you know I'm just like winging it, and you know I feel like it's all about how you present yourself, even with like uh you know Target. Um, you know I had to put a deck together and present you know the game and. I, never make a game before but like right. you, know, you know what what the game is what it's going to do i mean i was pitching the target you know i hadn't even shipped i hadn't even shipped my orders when i pitched the target hadn't even shipped my pre-orders right. so i mean it's it's I, I, i've constantly been in the space where i've been figuring out as i'm going along but i think what helps is just the confidence and knowing that like you know what you know you know what you don't know and when you have something good whether it's your gift you know, your talents, um, your creativity, your skills, your assets, whatever, you got to throw all the confidence from the ancestors <laughs> behind whatever you're doing so that you can <laughs> present yourself in a way that exudes and conveys confidence to the other person on the receiving end. And I think when you do that, you can like figure it out and you can watch people and learn on the go. Um, and eventually all of those experiences um, add up and allow you to be the space where you feel like or you know you you finally got it but i definitely i'm still you know there's still a lot of things that i'm figuring yeah. out a whole yeah that's what i think it's all about and i don't know if people always talk don't always talk about just the idea that we're constantly figuring it out even when people think 
that we are a beacon or you're a beacon and I, I this is you're like you're people yes. be asking me questions I'm like I don't know <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't nothing I don't know. I, listen, we all, you know, I, I tell people my team, I say, try it. Let's just see. Let's let's see what happens. Oh, no, we're figuring I it out. I don't know. But that's yeah. beautiful. You got to be open to trying it. And I know that, like, I had a really interesting conversation about the idea. Because, you know, I think we romanticize hard work. Oh, hard work has got to pay off. It's got to pay off. There are times where it just doesn't. So I'm curious to know, like, what is the other piece? What's the other sauce that needs to be there for people? Because I think a lot of the times we romanticize the hard work and the in the time, but that may not always be the key. Yeah, so I tell I've I've been able to boil things down to three things. For me, it's dreams, hustle, and village. Those three things. So your dreams give you the goal, your hustle gets you there, but your village keeps you there. And I feel like you have to have all three of those components. You could be hustling really hard. You could have the right dream and goal. But if you don't have the right people around you, it will never be sustainable. Um, you won't be able to keep it or it won't feel right. You ever been in a space where you have success, but you just don't? You ain't happy about it? You're not right. happy. We'll You're not try. happy because you ain't got the right people around you. Like, you can't even enjoy what other people are celebrating because it, uh, it don't feel right. So you have to have all three of those components, in my opinion, to be in a space where um, you can really, really enjoy what you have and, and, and thrive. Right. What do you feel like is, is your ultimate goal for yourself and how you are distributing your talents? Yeah, so then, yo, my ultimate goal is very simple. I, I don't know how my talents um, will manifest themselves. I don't know, you know, what my legacy will be or any of those things, but a few years ago, I was able to really simplify my goal to something very simple, and it's this. My goal is to make God smile. That's my goal. Like, it's, that's it. That's it. Like, you know, you read the Bible, you hear about, you know, God being angry, you know, all these different things. I'm like, yo, I know God smiles. I know, he, I know God smiles. I know that when, because I know how I smile when, my kids do something that it just Real. brings me so much joy or somebody that I'm rooting for like you does something. They, they, they bounce back, right? They're resilient. They're able to take something that was supposed to throw them off and they just use it to, to make a win. Like I know what it feels like to witness something like that and to just sit mm -hmm. back and smile. Like that's my goal. Like I don't have these big grand, these big goals. I want to, you know, obviously we have, you know, financial independence or financial freedom and all these other things. But those things are, are they're, they're temporary. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're they're temporary. True. For me, I know that if I make God smile, whatever I'm working on, whatever I'm building, that's eternal. That will last forever. That will, that will echo for generations through my kids and my kids' kids. And the way it manifests itself may be dope in a physical sense as far as like revenue or a home or a car or things like that. But the goal is to make God smile. That's the goal. Mm. Cause when my kids make me smile, they're doing what I taught them to do. They're using their God-given talents. They're doing Come things that I didn't even know that they could do, and it shocks me. That's what I want to do. I, I want to make God smile. That's my goal. That is just so... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I love her. I love you, Unique. I think you are just so spectacular. I really do. I want to know about, like, your... When you deal with timing, because, like you said, Lovey was like, girl... Put the, you need to do this thing and I was like okay you sat on it or whatever talk about the importance of leaning on timing because urgency is obviously a big name of the game in life so how does that how does that play out for you yeah it's it's a it's trial and error um it's a gut feeling right and sometimes it's a dope friend to say to push you off the edge I have so many friends right now who are getting on my nerves because <laughs> they are making me so uncomfortable with the things that they're pushing me towards. So that's why village. Ooh, so you are just reading me, child. You gotta have the right people around you because for real, for real, if Lovey wouldn't have been like, yo, you gotta do this, I might still be on the edge. And then what? We would have had the pandemic. You would have had them uh, culture tags going viral. And I would have been sitting there like, yo, I had an idea about this. 
But what happened? The carpet tags went viral. And I was like, yo, buy the game at carpettags.com. I was like, let's get these lives going. Let's promote it. Like, let's capture what's already happening, what I was able to see back in October. Nice. So you really have to have the right people around you because you won't always know if it's the right time. But sometimes people around you can see things in you um, that you're ready when you might not see it for yourself. So I definitely... Yeah. It's the people. And I think that I get a lot of ideas. When I was looking at December, the reason why I was unsure of if I was going to do culture tags wholeheartedly is because I had another idea. I had two other ideas. And one idea is a big idea. Like, it's when I launch it, y'all are going to be like, I know you're going to be like, Joker, like, go sit down somewhere. But I didn't have, it, that Ooh. idea takes a lot more research. I need patent attorneys. Um, I need uh, p uh, patent re research, I'm sorry, researchers to, uh, to get on it. And so for me, I was like, y'all gonna need more money to launch that idea. It's not as simple. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's simple in theory. But when it comes to like the legality and just making sure I'm protected, I knew that I would need more capital. Real. In the event that some of the gatekeepers out here who operate in this industry see a black person trying to come up in it and decide to hit me with a season desist or a patent, you know, whatever, like a violation that's not real. I wanted to be able to have the money to be like, I'm good, you know? And so I was like, yeah. culture tag is just as dope. And I know I can launch that with X amount of dollars. So if this Kickstarter isn't successful, I can still launch it. And so that's really why it was levy. And it was me being like, what's the, what's the easiest What's the easiest to execute right now? Because God want me to do one of these. I just don't. All right. I ain't got the money for the big one. I ain't got the money for that one yet. So I'm right. going to and I'm going to launch this one. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it's a combo of, of timing with my, my village and also just like being realistic about my, my funds. That's really dope because it, see, it's just that your, my, even your mindset is awesome to witness because it's like, it's not an obstacle for you just because something is more of a lift or more of a money grab or, or, or a money suck than you are used to. You're just like, well, I need more money. So let me figure out how to do that. Let me and figure let me... out how to get these coins. Yeah. I mean, every, listen, I, I keep saying it. And I say it to my kids. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. If, if you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. You know, but to get to that place might take a little bit. And so you really have to get to the space. I have to, like, with that idea, I just, I need more, I need more, I need a, I need a, I need an extra, like, you know, comma in the bank to be able to, to really support it. The way things that you need, to, yeah. To fund it, right. And, and to be able to self-fund it and bootstrap it the way I want to. So, yeah. Do you t teach any type of, like, business entrepreneur s type of things? I don't. Uh, I've been asked. Uh, I, I mean, see it, not to know, put it on you. But you know, you know what? My one of my dreams is to be. I want to teach uh, on a collegiate level, so that is one of my dreams. But I'm gonna oh, tell you, that's uh, easy that's, for you. Yeah, but but me teaching this uh, eight and three year old as a, a homeschool teacher, totally I'm doing that. I'm, I don't know. Um, but no, I don't <laughs> teach. Um, I, I try to teach when I'm doing stuff like this. I, I try to teach when I'm making posts on Instagram. I try to teach when I'm doing posts on Twitter. There's different ways of making it happen. I, I want to make it, I want to I want to be transparent so that people can learn from the journey. And I want people to get value versus just like, look at me, you know, I got this dope, you know, I got this cool shirt or that stuff is great, but I really want to provide value because again, smile and because I feel like we don't do that enough, right? We don't mm -hmm. just like, we don't just transfer information freely enough. It's just not something we we practice, right? And I and right. I want to I want to I want to do that, but I don't do it formally just yet. Maybe in the future, but right now I'm I'm in I'm in, I'm on something else. So we'll see. You I mean you still do it like you said. It can be different avenues. It can be different ways of doing that. But it's definitely something that I feel like is is very like on on point for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's, you do it. You're doing. Yeah, I'm doing it now. You know, I, I feel like once you formalize it and y'all got signed up for my class, then I ain't gonna feel like doing it. You know, like, yo, catch me on a live. Like, I, I, <laughs> I do a live. You, you want, you want to pick my brain? 
catch me on a live. Okay, catch me on a live because I'm gonna pour out everything that I have in me. And if you catch and me, she, you know, I'm, she, I'm really gonna that. try to give you everything I got in that short bit of time. Before you get out of here, Miss Unique, tell us what you feel about this. Uh, this Rona has taught you about yourself as a business person, as a businesswoman, and as a human. Mm, what the Rona has taught me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I feel like there are many lessons. I think what Corona has done for so many is it's really caused us to sit with ourselves. You know, like we just can't, you know, we were inundated with distractions and that just doesn't exist right now um right. but what it's really taught me is like i'm gonna figure it out i listen i don't care what it is i am going to figure it out and i think that that's just who we are as a people you know as african americans we have always had no choice but to figure it out everybody who's watching this you participate in who, you know, is, is an African-American, like, that's in our DNA. Figuring mm -hmm. it out is in our DNA. Somebody, I think it was Brittany, said, like, every Black person I know is a miracle. Like, and, and not just African-Americans, like, Black in America. If you're Black in America, you constantly figuring it out. You constantly figuring out, like, how you going to do what you know you've been put here to do, even amidst or a, a, against, like, all the systems of oppression, of white supremacy that you have to fight to, yeah, no. to, to live your life, right? Right. So, are constantly figuring it out and so even with coronavirus it is it is horrible right but like we are built to figure things out to figure out how do we oh make and we figure out how do we still how are we still able to function how can we how can we still not just survive but thrive and i think that that's what it's taught me that like I, i'm gonna figure it out and it's also taught me that i need this i i, I wasn't still enough i was i wasn't mm. I, I wasn't still enough like I was just busy like on flight right. you know, give me yeah. my platinum give me my I was almost diamond delta you know like give me all that no I was doing too much so you don't have to do so much like it's also taught me you actually don't have to do you could do more doing less right like you I'm, I'm in this this house I got jeans on t-shirt you know like we having this conversation like we could do less and still make the same you know, impact, you know, it's just figuring out different ways to do business, different ways to communicate, different ways to connect with people. And we don't have to stretch ourselves so thin to get there. I think right. that's what it's taught me. Mm. Thank you for that word. Yeah. Thank you for that word. Um, anything else you need to tell the people where, where to get the game? We already know, but one more time. Go to after we, after we disconnect. Go to Culture Tags on Instagram. You ain't got to follow me. You can follow me if you want. You need JG. But follow Culture Tags, okay? And hit that link. If you want to buy the game from Target, if you want to get it from my site, you get it from culturetags.com. I'm going to get paid either way. But I want you to get the game. That's most important. Y'all, yeah, we played it. Y'all, I hope y'all were here tuned in when we were playing it. So you can see how it goes down. It is a lot of fun. Obviously, it, it's fun with two people. But I could only imagine how crazy it'll get safely with your mask on with more you can than play that on zoom too. you can play it now this your cards will work on zoom it's just the it. it's just the lives that are weird but yeah play it on zoom go on culture go on uh the target website read the comments read the uh reviews like it's real a, that's actually easy yeah you can play on zoom. Game. and we got tons of expansion packs coming but uh outside of that yeah let's say a prayer for me hopefully it's just me doing the most today yeah you need some water in the nap somebody will give me pray. some uh Go take me an olive leaf pill, give me some zinc, and uh, listen, a little uh, ginger vitamin, ale, vitamin D, and do all the detoxes. <laughs> Smoke this thing out with some cayenne, <laughs> some, some, some listen, pepper. all get all the, the remedies, get the ginger ale, lay down, watch you some the stories. Gin, listen, yeah, ginger you gotta, ale. if you drink ginger ale, you know, ginger ale. Oh, it's so a it's combo like, pack. What's the, what's the game? The name of the game is culture tags, culture tags. Um. Ginger ale don't work if you don't lay down after you drink it, okay? And you gotta, yeah, you gotta watch some TV programming. And you gotta be room that speaks temperature. to a certain age demographic. Yeah, and, and ginger ale has to be room temperature. Like you can't drink if you you can't drink cold ginger ale with ice all comfortable and just quenching. No, your ginger ale got if ginger ale is medicinal, 
It's got to be a little hot. Medicinal purposes, <laughs> that thing got to be room temperature, and you got to go lay your behind down. Right, no, that's it. Lay down, right? Lay down, little Judge Judy, little stories, which whichever. If you granny, granny being here, y'all watching first 48. She just she's scary. Granny can tell you all the major mass murderers. And I, yeah, granny, I'm I'm on that tip too, though. Yeah, granny I, on I, that, she on that in lifetime. I hear, I hear granny, I see her, and I understand. All right, <laughs> she can come, come get her, come get granny. Come get Granny. Come you get need, thank you so much as always for sharing so many gems and just your beautiful light with us. Congratulations <laughs> for continuing to like shift the culture to create for blackness to to put on for blackness. We love it. Appreciate we really you. do. Thank you for being so dope, Danielle. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.